東京工業大学のセルテクチームです東京工業大学のタイトルはライブストックウィズアウトグレインです4人の素数好きが MIT ハーバードへのわずか1週間の留学経験によりグローバルに目覚めた緻密な思考実験の末にたどり着いた革新的なアイデア貧困のルート構図に今突き刺さる Thank you for the introduction and we are s e l t e c from Tokyo Institute of Technology and today we are going to introduce a new idea Livestock without grain Please listen to the following conversation between a researcher, Nakamura. Hello. And a student, Hayu. Oh, so tired.、Uh, oh, terrible. It's time that many people become sleepy. Wake up. Oh, let's start class. Today, Poverty has become quite a serious issue all around the world. And there are several reasons why poverty occurs. Among them, we are focusing on the food shortage. Today, the world's population has exceeded 7 billion, and 1 billion of them are suffering from starvation. Food shortage causes malnutrition. Malnutrition deprives people of opportunities to work, money to live, and finally their lives. And this damage will remain in the next generation. So, food shortage is one of the main causes of poverty. Well, thank you, Professor. Actually, I have been on this quest for a long time, and I have been thinking of this issue. Well, livestock and grain. Our main resources of food. Yes. So, as a result, to rescue the one billion people, should they just grow the grain or the livestock? Okay, please look at food production. If we grow cattle, we need 30 kilograms of corn to get one kilogram of beef. Well, let me ask you a question. How many people can live for a day with 30 kilograms of corn. Please choose the answer and raise your hand. Are you ready? A, two people. B, five people. C, 15 people. Oh, your answer is different from what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> you already know the answer? The answer is. 15 people. Okay, let me ask you another question. How many people can live for a day with one kilogram of beef? Are you ready? A, two people. Wow. <laughs> B, five people. C, 15 people. <laughs> Just the same as I expected. You're on. The answer is two people. Wow, the difference is so huge. Yes. So, are you saying that we should just stop producing meat? No, so easy problem. <laughs> If we only grow grain, we cannot get enough protein. Wow, it seems like we are facing a dilemma here. Yeah. So, what can we do to rescue those people? Okay, I propose. New source of protein called cell meat. Wow, sounds great, but what is this? It's so to speak, livestock without grain. Well, let me ask you another question. Do you know how we produce meat? You're joking, right? <laughs> Everybody knows that. Yes, yes. To produce meat, we have to raise the livestock. And to keep them alive, we have to give them grain. That's too much. Yes, but cell meat doesn't need any energy for life support. Really? Why? Cell meat is produced from cells, and cell meat only needs specific liquid to grow. 
So it doesn't need any energy for livestock. That's why we call it livestock without grain. Well, please watch the following video. It will show the mechanism of the cell meat. We take our cells from animal's muscle. These cells call stem cell. Stem cell can increase very well. So by putting these cells into specific liquid, we can get a lot of cells. These cells grow into muscle. So by putting these cells, by correcting this muscle, we can get meat. This is the mechanism of the cell meat. Wow, it's fantastic. But it still seems like a little bragging, you know. So, oh. I mean, is it really possible? Of course. In 2013, a researcher succeeded in making hamburger from cells. Wow, gosh, I have so many things to learn. Well, yes. but still, I'm wondering that, how about the cost? Actually, there's a problem about cost now. But this research was invested by companies that is to say, many people have already noticed the importance of the cell meat. So you mean if governments and companies give more support, we will be able to produce cell meat on a larger scale? Yes, you're right. And moreover, some experts said that there's a plan to use bacteria and plant as a nutrient for stem cell. If we use these materials, we will be able to make 500 grams of cell meat at one dollar. Wow. Moreover, wow. if we use these materials, cell meat will be environment friendly. Wow, it's fantastic. Well, I just remember that our Tokyo Tech also has the special technology to increase stem cell. Yes. So we could also contribute to the cell meat Research. Yes, that's right. Well, there's another issue. How about the safety? Anyway, you know, it's something will come into my mouth. Yeah, and I understand your worry, but no problem. Testing even was already done, and many researchers already checked the safety. Wow, great. Okay, by the way, please look at the history of the Cell phone. What, what, why cell phone? <laughs> you should think these words, cell meat and cell phone, have the word cell in common. It's kind of a jerk. <laughs> wow, it was so late. Okay. In the beginning, cell phone was very high cost with limited function. But now, it is low cost and multifunctional. So just like cell phones, cell meat will be low cost. And moreover, it will be healthier and tastier. Yes, you're right, good student. Thank you. <laughs> and we will be able to make various meat from one animal cell. For example, we can make pork taste meat from cattle cells. And we also make tuna taste meat from cattle cells. Okay, got that. So we could solve the religious problem too. Yes. Well, for instance, people who believe in Islam don't eat pork. Yes. But they can eat cell meat instead. Yes. Thank you guys for the interesting conversation. And but why are you stopping? <laughs> okay, now. Everyone, have you enjoyed this conversation? Okay, now. Let's summarize the advantages of the cell meat. I'll explain. By using this technology, grain can be saved and given to human beings. So we can get not only protein, but also a lot of grain. So we can solve food shortage. Well, there are more advantages of cell meat. It doesn't require so much land, so we can save land. And also, we don't raise livestock, and we can reduce the waste because cell meat only produces the parts we can eat. So there's no need to worry about the environmental pollution. There will be no deforestation and no desertification. 
And we can make various meats from when animals sell. So we can solve religious concerns. Moreover, since we don't kill any animals, it is friendly to living creatures. And we can also reduce epidemics. So this technology is a hopeful technology. Cell meat can change the world. In the future, not animals meat, but cell meat. <laughs> hey, I've just started a new hamburger franchise, Cell Meats Burger. Do you want to try? Hmm, I'm wanting it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.